in Dallas to pick up uh, the front bumper for the Raptor and we should uh, see what they have in store for us. We were uh, recommended to this place by some folks at the junkyard so we'll see if they uh, have a, a decent bumper for us. Okay. It's been a drive up from uh, Midland, but uh, we're here. So let's see what they have to offer us. Uh, we'll check it out. The uh, place is called uh, Gordo's uh, Body Shop or Body Parts. So we'll see if they have my bumper. Well, we've got our bumper uh, right in here and we've got our skid plate. So we're just going to strap these down so they don't fly around on our trip back to Midland. And uh, we'll head back. Uh, Here's my wife, say hi Mari. Hi. <laughs> so I guess we'll go ahead and strap this down, get back on the road. Ooh, we're back from the junkyard where we picked up this uh, frame uh, for this Raptor F-150. So looks like we're gonna be putting that in there. Uh, and just so you know, it's starting to look pretty good. Uh, this frame came in. I'm really happy with it. It looks really straight. As you all can see, uh, it looks pretty clean. It's actually uh, seems to be a lot cleaner than the one that's in the truck. I did notice a little bit of these bushings. This is a 2014 frame, so uh, I believe since it was in California or it may have been a flood vehicle, it looks like it picked up some rust. So probably before we shove it back in there and, and, and get it all bolted in, I'm gonna take and clean up those rust spots, get some paint on them, and make sure that, uh, that we can get it back in there. Also notice right here, there's some scrapes that we need to make sure that we get uh, in there. But other than that, everything looks pretty good. The challenging part is going to be how do we maneuver this thing? What do we do with it in the meantime? Uh, and I know it's a little windy out here, so if you don't hear me well, sorry about that. But, you know, we are working in the driveway. That's kind of the stuff you deal with. I did want to show you guys also kind of the inside of the truck so you could see yesterday was kind of dark so since being a black interior I didn't really uh, show you guys the inside but as you can see the inside looks uh, pretty good is the Raptor uh, 150 it does have the sunroof uh, looks pretty good here uh, I also wanted to show you all that it does run uh, can't move it yet because I got it on the jack stands. But listen to that baby. Starts right up. Uh, here's the back seat. Uh, oops. I put that in there so the wind wouldn't blow away. But this is the, the inside uh, fender plastic uh, shroud or whatever you want to call it. But all of this looks in really good shape. So... Uh, I really wanted one of these uh, Raptors because especially this uh, 2013 or 2012 to 2014 because I just love that 6.2 and I really didn't want one of those V6's so here it is listen to that oh beautiful sound Yeah, I'm loving it already, and I haven't even started working on it. So let's go ahead and and start working. I do have uh, 
some pipe that I picked up last night. There's some pipe here. I've already got some pieces cut, notched out. And I don't know, I guess I can call it a, a, a TH frame. It's gonna be some T on the bottom. You can see the that piece will lay on the ground. Then this little nub here will stick up. I'll stick a piece of the longer, or the longer piece of pipe right here. It's a seven foot piece. I'll stick it inside the this pipe here. And then on the top part, I'm gonna have this piece welded here. And that's the piece that'll go over the the top of the hood or over the uh, engine compartment uh, and that'll slip onto that pipe and the same thing on this side so instead of an a-frame it's just going to be a support for that uh, front piece here so i'll probably run some straps from I'll run some straps from up front here in this support to, to be, make sure that I can hold the weight up on top once that bar's across here. I'll hold the engine up. The engine will be held up like this, so suspended on that. And then also this front piece. And then we'll have the, the jack stands supporting the body on the sides here. We'll have one up front, one towards the back of the cab. And then, the, uh, of course, the bed will be off. Uh, we'll pull the suspension and everything off the back, drag it out the back, and then we can start disconnecting everything and then we'll just drop the frame down a little bit and we'll put something across underneath there to support the uh, transmission while we drop the frame all the way down. Once we get the frame down, uh, you know, we'll have that supported so we can drag it out. I still got to get my car out of the garage uh, I'm going to work on that here in a little bit, so I don't want to bore you with all this cleanup work here. I did uh, run to Dallas. Here's the uh, bumper picked up. It's off of uh, 20, it says 2010 to 2014. So this is the right bumper. And the little grill piece I was talking about was this little piece in here. So. This is a complete bumper and a new skid plate for the front. I'll tell you guys, this little piece right here and this bumper are not cheap. I think it cost me like uh, $550 just for the bumper and, and skid plate. So uh, yeah, this, this is uh, not a cheap build for me, definitely. But uh, it's cheaper than if I bought the truck new or one that was in in good shape still so we'll see what this turns out to be like once we get everything done we'll see if it was worth it also while i was at the junkyard they were kind enough to let me borrow some pallets actually they let me have them and there's some plastic ones in here and so what i'll do is i'll use those when i pull the bed off to set it on so that we don't damage the fenders and the paint on the fenders so uh, that'll be once we figure out uh, how we're going to get ourselves organized here. Uh, so that's going to probably be chore number one for me is to disconnect everything in the back on the bed and pull the bed off. I'm going to try and get this frame unloaded uh, so that I'll have room on my trailer. We're going to get this frame unloaded. I'm going to put it on some dolly so we can move it around do whatever we need to do with it and then I'm going to use the trailer so that I can take the bed and I'm going to set it on top of the front part of the trailer that way I can move it wherever I need to to park it for the time being and then uh, as we get this car out of the garage we use the garage to put all the parts like the suspension parts and anything else that we take off of the other frame in the meantime we'll probably drag once we get it down, we'll drag it in the garage and then we'll, as we pull parts off of it, we'll put them onto the new frame that's gonna be sitting here. Once we get that frame uh, stripped, then we'll drag it out of there and we'll bring this frame into the garage and drag it underneath the truck. So that's kind of the plan right now. Uh, 
today's nice and sunny but it is a little windy and it's it's windy season here so i don't know it's gonna be a little challenging working in that out here but hey got to do what you got to do so hope you enjoy uh, we'll be giving you some updates once I get my frame built, which is going to be the next step. I'm going to get my car out of the garage. I'm going to get this frame unloaded. I'm going to get uh, uh, start working on building this little little frame deal, so we'll be ready for that. Uh, and then we'll start uh, getting underneath it uh, so we can get the bed off. Uh, once we got the bed off, I may push the truck back a little bit so it gives me some space uh, up front here in case I need it when I'm dragging that frame out from under. So that's kind of the plan I did. I'm trying something here. I stuck a piece of wood in here in the suspension to jam it up so that when I put the truck down on the ground, hopefully it'll allow me to steer and be able to drive this to back it up and move it around to where I need it before we get started. Man, that's an ugly wheel there that I got at the junkyard, but uh, that's okay. That's not going to be on there forever. The nice one's over here, so we'll see. It is damaged a little bit. You know, as you can see right here, there is a little damage there. Uh, but, hey, this is an off-road vehicle, so uh, tires are going to get damaged. Wheels are going to get damaged. So... Um, I just want to get this thing on the road. Uh, it does look a little strange here. I'm looking at this and I'm hoping that's not the case, but it's looking like this may be a little twisted. I don't know if this frame is twisted or not, but we're going to have to check and make sure it's straight. I see something here that doesn't look too good. We'll have to see if this is supposed to be that way. Uh, I'm going to have to check on the other side. It's right in front of the, the column there and see. But the other thing I'm noticing is that that thing is sitting flat on the ground. And I don't know if that thing is different size. But well, we'll check it all out before we get it all ripped apart to begin with. Uh, guys, I'm gonna have to put this phone down and this uh, video down so I can get to work. So, as you can see, we're rigged up to pull this frame off. I got uh, my car out of the garage and uh, we've got my engine hoist here. I've got the front suspended here on the frame. Uh, you can see that and then what I did here is I installed this little dolly deal right here so that we can get this frame uh, off of here we're gonna roll it over to the edge and then we'll pick it up and set it down is kind of how what the plan is and I guess we'll do the same thing when we get ready to uh, to do the uh, the swap. We'll do the same thing. So for the time being, I'm just gonna get this off of here, and then we'll do the rest. So just wanted you to see how I set this up. I had to use my floor jack to lift the back of the frame up, set the little dolly on it, and then we'll just go ahead and and keep pulling on this and pull it off the trailer. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. So please um, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, you know, if you like it, leave some comments. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.